Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. I want to give a quick shout out to everyone watching the video today. Definitely appreciate the support. Make sure you mash that subscribe button if you have not already. All you newbie viewers out there, make sure you stay to the end. We'll be revealing our free ebook, The Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide, that has all our best kept secrets and strategies. Tons of facts and some key things you'll need to know in order to make it in this market. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. I was going to start the day with some fundamentals, um, and we'll jump into that in a little while. But I want to see, I want you guys to see what has just happened literally in the last couple of minutes. Bitcoin has dumped almost 10% to our level. We talked about two levels yesterday's video, guys. We talked about two levels. First level being 6,000. Okay, 6,000 has been met. Second level being 5,800. Okay. This level here to 5,700. Can these areas hold? This one's a little big. 6,000's been broken. Will 5,800 hold, guys? I don't think so. This thing is really collapsing. Will we see a large wick? Will we see a dead cat bounce here? Um, there are many things to look at. Like I said, as we're planning this video, all of these charts just dropped out of the sky. This is Bitcoin USD on Bitfinex. This is Bitcoin USD on Coinbase, which is a whole other story. Guys, look at the difference here. Coinbase, we are on $5,600. Um, all levels have been broken uh, on Coinbase. Everything has been shattered. Um, you know, USDT, Tether, same thing. 5,800, all different levels. Depending on where you are trading, guys, the market is in a panic. They are selling off. There looks like there's no end in sight. Could we see a huge wick, dead cat bounce? Can we see it back to the upside to retest this area before it continues to fall? Will 5,800 hold? We are coming up on 5,800 now. Let's check BitMEX. We saw some huge sell-offs in BitMEX yesterday starting with Bitcoin Cash. We drew this here yesterday on BitMEX uh, as well. It started to form a little wedge here as well. Um, it just completely collapsed out to the bottom side, guys. On BitMEX, we're at 55.72. Um, a lot of sell-offs. Look at the market right now as a whole um, on just what I look at every day. I mean, 10, 15, 15, 16, 12. I mean, the market is absolutely in a sell-off mode. Um, panic has set in. There are no green coins right now, no green tokens anywhere. Everything is taking a beating. Ethereum has dropped 31%. Um, like I said, uh, BitMEX coins took an absolute beating, which probably meant a lot of people were cashing out of their BitMEX positions. We will talk about why I think that happened on the next video. I was going to talk about it today, but look what has happened. Um, depending on where you guys are trading, there's certain levels you need to watch out for. Most of them have already been broken, so if you want to see what else to look at, you're going to have to look farther left. Um, you know, We explained yesterday it's extremely, extremely risky trading because there could be a huge market sell-off. This is what has happened. Um, I didn't see it coming. This trend line that's been holding up for quite some time has now been broken. Um, I don't see this thing holding up, but we will see if we get a dead cat bounce anytime soon. But if you look to the left, guys, we're sitting right here. Right there on that line of resistance or support, rather. Support here, support here, huge, huge support here. Will this level hold? Will 5,600 hold on BitMEX? We're there. We've met that point. Um, Bitcoin USDT, you know, now we're, we're starting to see that wick form over that 6,000, which is our first area. Will 6,000 hold? Will we see it retest the breakout zone before continuing downwards? 5,800 has just about been tested. We're seeing a double bottom here, a wick for wick. Double bottom, if you guys can see this. I mean, it's it's pinpoint. 
Uh, you can't really get much better than that. Will we see a nice bounce as we saw here? We saw a huge bounce off this level. 26% uh, on Bitcoin over a month span. Can we see this area here react the way this area here did? I am not sure, but I like the way that this wick is forming. Everything's breaking out. All levels have been broken here. You know, we'll have to look farther to the left to see, you know, where the next level is. Looks like it's here. Somewhat here. You know, those areas have been broken, guys. 5,800 on this Coinbase chart. And you guys can see the big difference between all the, all the places to trade. So you got to make up your mind. Uh, not make up your mind, but you got to look at the chart that you're trading on, the chart you trade on the most. If you trade t Tether, look at Tether. If you're trading USD, look at USD. If you're trading, you know, on BitMEX, stare at your BitMEX charts and make sure that you're getting the right information. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is insane that this happened as we were getting into, you know, uh, the Bitcoin breakdown. But I mean, I, I saw sixty, I saw six K happening. 5,800, you know, I, I didn't know if it was going to make it down that far to that level of support. We're going to keep an eye on it, and then we absolutely just smashed down and retested those zones. Um, so, like I said, m my whole plan was to tell you guys I thought that these levels would be reached. Did I think one candle was going to pop through and do it? Absolutely not. Um, I thought it would be a gradual way down. I thought we'd see a retest to the upside when this thing broke down. Uh, retest to the upside. If you look at it on a lower time frame, you can see... Um, you saw the breakout, and I thought we'd see a, a retest of the upside before it came back down, but it just completely fell through the floor. Um, it just completely died off. People saw the, saw the selling happen. More people sold. This could have been bots deleveraging their uh, positions. Um, one thing to keep in mind on to keep to keep in mind is that we saw a massive sixty to seventy percent drop in the altcoin value last November. So. This can be happening. This, 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 you know, this could be a very good place to buy at the bottom for some of these uh, best cryptocurrencies, which we'll be watching to find a better entry and uh, to, to re-enter some of these trades that were stopped out with backed and many other uh, with with backed and other money coming in. It's likely this is a big play by the market makers to shake out all the weekends and uh, allow these individuals to buy at incredible positions. Now, the blood is where we'll find the incredible swing trades. Uh, those positions for December and January, we have blood in the streets everywhere. If you are looking for a low area to buy these tokens, now is probably the time, guys. These are the areas where I don't freak out. Um, I just try to make sense of it, and then I always have. Look, this is why this is why I stare at these charts all day long. I have all these saved because I'm always looking for better entries on these charts, and they've just given a lot of them to me. Um, just for example, we can look at um, Ethereum. You know, it's 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 took a beating, but now look. You know, those of you who are buying these dips, small little pieces of these dips, you know, this thing could still fall down here. But you're buying little pieces of these dips all the way down. You just bought Ethereum for 175 bucks when it was just priced at 224 dollars. You know, that is a nice area to buy Ethereum. There's a lot of good tokens right now, a lot of good altcoins that you can buy at the bottoms. Um, Syndicator, all these trades yesterday fell out the bottom side. So like I told you guys, it was very risky to trade those trades. So we'll keep an eye on all these things. We'll take a look at power. Power broke to the downside. Everything broke to the downside. There's nothing that was spared. But watch for that bounce, guys. Can we find support at these new levels and start to move back up? And you guys just got yourself a better entry. Those of you who had your stop losses in place, like we recommended, are not looking so bad. Those of you who didn't are holding bags and now you can't buy at lower levels. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, we were going to cover some fundamentals today. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it, but I will look it up for you guys. And I want to talk about um, Coinbase listings. We talked about this a week or so ago and I recommended to buy every cryptocurrency that was left that has not been listed on Coinbase. So I just want to talk about that real quick. We talked about um, one second, that's not the article I was looking for. Let's look at Google. Oh, 
Find the world. It's not Google. Okay. So guys, we recommended after ZRX and BAT were listed to go ahead and buy ADA, Zcash, and XLM. This was weeks ago, guys, because it was inevitable. Once the first two took the spike, the next three were going to uh, be bought by simple hype. Uh, people are buying these tokens because they don't want to get left behind. Like They just got left behind in the first two that got listed. They didn't catch the uh, listing for ZRX. They didn't catch the listing for uh, BAT. So they don't want to be left behind. And they're buying up all these tokens purely by hype. They don't know when they're going to be listed, but um, we are in fact seeing huge bounces on all of these tokens. So everyone that has bought these on our recommendation weeks ago, um, you know, I think it was like six or seven, eight episodes ago, we recommended buying the other three tokens that we're left to buy because BAT was announced that it's going to be the next one and it's already been done and that has shot up three or four different times. So those of you who listen to our recommendation on buying all of the tokens or coins that are going to be listed on Coinbase, congratulations because you guys just crushed it and those gains have probably been given right back if you guys didn't go ahead and take those profits. Remember guys, if you see a spike and you buy the hype, sell it at the top. Don't hold forever. Sell it at the top. You'll get another retest. You'll get another area to buy again and do the same thing. If you're a day trader, get in, get out, get your profit, do it again the next day. Not every day is a trading day, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, this thing dropped all the way to 5,800 here, guys, but we're seeing a nice wick. So just keep an eye on the wick. Keep an eye on the support that Bitcoin creates. And we'll see you guys on the next Bitcoin breakdown. For those of you that are brand new, make sure you go down to that bottom area where the description is. Go ahead and click that link that says BitcoinConsumerGuide.com. Get your free ebook with all the tips and tricks that we've been telling you guys about. Also, guys, if you haven't mashed that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now and hit that like button if you guys like the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin breakdown, and we'll go over some of these other trades.